Yeah. Oh, okay, now your name is Noble Haranaka. Right. How do you spell your first name? Uh, N O B O. It, Nobo. Yeah. Okay. Now, how yeah. long uh, how long have you been the chief engineer here? Uh, just a year. A year. What did <laughs> yeah. you do before that? All right. Well, I was here all this time. I've been here from. Uh, I've been working with this station here actually for uh, 26 years now. I really? started in October 1962. Okay. And. Uh, Previously, the station was on Maui, on the island of Maui. Oh, it was? Yeah, and it was relocated here in 71. Okay. And I made the move with the station. Then, well, whereabouts uh, on Maui was it located? Uh, Kihei, Maui. Sure, well, that's where we're staying. Right, at you the Maui Resort? Yeah, well, no, at, at, at the... Oh, you staying at condominium? Yeah, condominium. Okay. And uh, yeah. what, what do you do, Adele? I'm the secretary. Well, what's this computer behind you? Yeah. <laughs> the data computer. Well, do you use it? Yes, I do. <laughs> and what do you use it for? Data. Well, like what kind of data? Processing. <laughs> well, you do it. Do you is that used for the weather information or anything? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Do you have a lot of requests for QSL cards here? Right. She, she probably knows more than I do. <laughs> do you have QSL cards here? She records it now. So when we automated the station, we released all the technicians that we had and we just have a we only have three technical people so we only work during the day hours uh, daylight hours uh, five days a week so weekends and we at that night there's nobody here so we automate it they record it themselves from Honolulu by a telephone oh so they just play it back uh, they record it they can play it back all automatically they, they okay need. this is your shop or your, or your lab, lab area? We call it lab, uh, you know, where you do... Did you realize that no radio station's lab or shop area is ever this neat? This is all very neat and clean. <laughs> See, I'm going to show this to... Lab. I'm going to show this to... I'm showing well, this. We, we knew you were come with a camera, so we, we kind of tidied it up for you. <laughs> you. You tidied it up for us? <laughs> right, it was a mess. I believe, you know, Oh, tidied. you're kidding. Well, I hope... I, I'm sorry you went to all that trouble. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, my no, chief no, engineer no, is no, going to no, feel no, better no, now. No, no, no. Well, when did... Yeah, what is this now? Uh, this is the shielded room, and inside we have this one here. We have the clock, the primary time. This is the famed we, atomic clock. Right, which is where we keep the time. Very well, sh show me how that works. I mean, okay. how do you, how do you keep this in sync with Fort Collins, Colorado? Okay, we don't really keep it in sync. Uh, we just we steer uh, uh, the time here on our own, and of course we have three identical clocks that we can intercompare. Okay, and by intercomparison, we can see one clock should start steering off, then we can see it. So. Uh, you know, we can use that to keep the tree close together. Mm -hmm. Then how uh, how uh, accurate is it? How close are you? Uh, we're uh, now we have uh, monitoring equipment on the other room where we can measure, compare time directly between our clock and the uh, U.S. standard clock time in Boulder, Colorado, and uh, we can we, we can do this. Uh, it's done almost every day. It's done every day. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. and we have what to use is the GPS global position satellite, and by using the satellite making time measurements, uh, we can measure time accurate to better than 100 nanoseconds. That's, wow! Uh, you know, uh, a nanosecond is a billionth of a second, so 100 billionth of a second, and probably much better than that. But uh, okay, that's, that's, that's how accurate we are now. Huh? Okay. <laughs> That's just the audio monitor. Yeah, that's the audio monitor. From there it goes to the transmitter. And these At the are the dome, 23 hours, 28 minutes, coordinated universal time. That's yeah, uh, I'm sorry, these are what now? These are the time code generators. And they're the one that actually uh, puts out all the ticks and the tones and and what you hear, the format. Format. Now, how how are these uh, are these run on some sort of a crystal, or no. are they? Is it an yeah. atomic type of thing? Okay, basically these uh, what we call a cesium beam frequency standard. Uh, they basically put out a five megahertz signal, okay, which is used to run these clocks, the three time code generators, which which is a clock. Actually, cesium beam frequency standard. Okay. okay? And they generate five megahertz signal, which we use to run these clocks, uh -huh. you know. 
and that's where we get the accuracy because of the season st frequency standard. Okay, the frequency season standard primarily uh, the the five megahertz comes from a crystal oscillator. But the only difference between a cesium standard and atomic clock is that this quartz crystal oscillator is controlled by cesium beam, mm -hmm. cesium atom. Cesium atom actually controls and, and precisely steers the quartz oscillator so that it doesn't drift either positive or negative. So is this a... From the... Uh, is any of this the, radioactive right now? No, it's not radioactive at all. It's oh. just using the cesium atom. And uh, it's, uh, it, what it does is you uh, excite these uh, atoms with radio frequency, very high frequency, you can uh, actually change the energy level. Okay, just a second. You're saying that, that uh they're calling from Honolulu? Right, the weather service in, at International Airport. Okay, and it, com it comes in here yeah. and uh, it gets, uh, they know what code to punch in. Right, the address code for all these different uh, minutes that we broadcast the uh, weather map. These are all record and playback. Okay, so, so do they, can they erase? Mm -hmm. and right, whenever they record whatever is on the tapes are erased at the same time, like most you know, tape recording. Well, most of them you have to take the cartridge out, erase it with a bulk eraser, right. and then stick it back yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. But so you have an erase head on this right, machine. Right, yeah. We, we specially rebuilt these machines because these are all studio broadcast machines. Sure, and I've they seen only these. Have, right, sure. Yeah, right. And they only playback mode, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, we, 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 we rebuilt it. We put in record amplifiers, uh, uh, bias, ir bias uh, oscillators, and with a special record head, we replaced the other. These are old machines too. Yeah, very old, right? 1971, when we, you know, that's when we're... Okay, now where does the voice, the, the female voice, <laughs> okay. yeah, the female come in? So the female voice is the time broadcast, the, the announcement, the time announcement comes from this machine. And this machine, is, uh, we lease this machine. Uh, we don't own this machine, it's only leased. They won't, they won't sell this machine. In fact, this is the same company that provides all the time uh, announcements for all the telephone companies. So the gal voice, you're probably familiar, it's the same gal for all the telephone company. Her name is Jane Barb. Jane uh, who? Barb. Barbie, Barb, B-A-R-B-E. Uh, yeah, you know her. Yeah. <laughs> You know, she did all the recordings for all for this company, and they provide. She was on the show. Two, uh, two people, real, real people. people, real people. The, right? the, the telephone yeah. lady, yeah. Yeah, the, the the, telephone that's all the telephone. Lady, yeah, that's, the, that's yeah. the same woman. Yeah, that's the same. Well, who's the same. who's the male voice in Fort Collins? Okay, the one in Fort Collins now. What well, used to be, I believe, the president of this company at that time, oh. way back. Well, this goes way back, and it kept using his same voice, you know, it's, uh, once you record it, it's there already, so, uh, <laughs> you know, it's, uh, and we also used to broadcast up to 1971, was the same announcer, the male voice, was identical. Uh, Epic medium, just like, yeah, uh, there's, there's two drums, and they split it up so that they could record the, the one that says the hour on this one drum, mm -hmm. and then she, Record, they recorded the minute recording on the other drum. Yeah. Huh. So they have 24 recordings, spirally recorded recordings on this one, 24 tracks, you know, for the 24 hours. And then the other drum has a 60 tracks for the 60 minutes. Okay. okay. So they simplify the number of recordings. It's just, uh, it's just yeah. nothing more than a, than a, uh, th than a uh, hard disk drive. Something like that. Something like that. <laughs> well, it's just, it is like, you know, this is like, yeah, it comes up called drop in place. But no, it's like uh, any other tape, tape machine. Actually, it's uh, just on a drum, you know. Okay. And how old is this unit here? Well, since 1971. But 71. They, they, yeah, they've replaced uh, a lot of the, you know, the uh, modules. You know. At the total, what? 23 hours. 37 minutes, coordinated universal time. Okay, universal. Let's start again. Okay, that's the 10 magra standby and uh, okay, translator. Well, first, let's start with this uh, one right here. Well, this one here is, uh, we're, we're modifying right now. 
and it'll be the standby for the two and a half megahertz okay uh, then the one the next one there on the right is the uh, 10 megahertz transmitter for for the as a standby transmitter for the 10 megahertz uh, frequency then okay. next to it is the two and a half megahertz transmitter that's on the air it puts out 5,000 watts okay now of power and that's running right now okay so that how much power the the two and a half is only doing five thousand yeah watts. right because it's more for the local area okay uh, that frequency and the 10 so meg is putting out what 50 ten thousand watts 10, our, yeah our maximum power we put out is ten thousand watts i thought it was 50 for some no, reason no. Oh, just okay. ten thousand watts and also ten thousand watts and then we have the standby transmitter for the 15 megahertz uh, and then the one way on the left there is the 5 megahertz, that's the standby transmitters for the 5 megahertz. Then on, on this far left is the 5 megahertz main transmitter putting out 10,000 watts of power. Okay, now the one in the center here, now this is two of them side by side, yeah, right? Yeah, and that one there, the 5 megahertz, okay, those were installed in 1983 uh, to conserve power. Uh, these old transmitters were linear amplifier. Yeah. And they consume so much power because they were only about 25% efficient. Okay, so, now these two in the center, which, okay, which these, is these, which? These three transmitters that you see, these... Uh, the new ones? The new ones, uh, Alcom Bauer transmitters. They're uh, Class C uh, plate modulated transmitters and they're about 50-52% efficient. Okay. So we reduce the power considerably in so fact uh, the one the one on the right here is broadcasting at what frequency 10 megahertz and this one next to it 15 megahertz okay and the one over there yeah. is is five, five megahertz and so right. all of these except that one is on the air right yeah right and everything else in here is a standby right oh okay yeah.